Sound speeds, and this week I bring a tip to you sound utilities and second boom operators out there. Specifically, we're going to be talking about phasing, microphone phasing. If you look at a sound wave, there is a crest and there is a trough, or you might have heard me say in the past, a peak in a valley. Old habits die hard. A crest at the peak of that crest is the highest area of voltage that is created by that microphone. So if I'm speaking loudly, that microphone diaphragm does this and creates voltage as that voltage comes back in and it bounces off the diaphragm the other way, that is the negative voltage. That's the trough of a sound wave. If you're recording sound with one microphone out, no problem. But if you're recording with two or more out there, then you want to pay close attention to where those microphones are pointed. If they're both on the same source, then those microphone crests and troughs may not be aligned on top of each other just perfectly if you have them both in the mix. And if they are slightly out, like let's say these are the crests and, crests and troughs, and they are not perfectly in alignment, let's say they are slightly out, then that crest and that trough may be canceling out some of the voltage. Therefore, they are out of phase. And that phasing is going to create some weird kind of echoing kind of distortion sounds. And it's very clear that there's a problem here. The way you reduce this is by keeping in mind the three to one rule. The three to one rule states that if you have two microphones out over a subject, you want to keep three times the distance between those microphones as there is between one microphone and the mouth of the subject. That means that if there is a microphone one foot over my mouth right now, the other microphone would need to be three feet away from that microphone. By doing this, you're going to minimize the phasing of the sound waves going into each of these matching microphones. That's a key, matching microphones. The distance and off-axis attenuation of the two microphone sources are going to mean that those peaks and troughs are not going to compete with each other as much as you might think. So your soundtrack is preserved. Keep that in mind because that's sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.